So earlier this week, we talked to a lot, uh, we lo a lot about uh, holding our elected leaders accountable during all of this, specifically getting them to answer some questions about the ongoing protests. Congresswoman Bonamici invited us to meet in person to have a discussion like that. So yesterday, we took, up, uh, we took her up on the offer. As she was visiting a school in Beaverton, we met her there, and we asked her about the protests that every night do seem to devolve into violence. I certainly do not condone violence by anyone, by people who are destroying buildings or by people who are police officers. We need to come together as a community and have a conversation about how do we make changes in our criminal justice system? How do we make changes in housing and education and health care to make sure that we are meeting the needs of people in the community and not uh, having a situation where we have to turn on the news and read about the horrific shooting of yet another black man. And so these conversations are important. I don't condone the violence, uh, but uh, we have to respect that people are rightfully protesting and exercising their First Amendment rights to say we need change. Here in, in Congress and at the federal level, we passed the Justice and Policing Act. It's a step that would make a big difference. We sent it to the Senate. It's awaiting action there. It is going to take all of us working together to, to make the changes that we need to have a, a just society and a, a system where people feel safe in their communities. So uh, we all need to work together. And we need to continue to have the conversations to make important change that we need. You heard her mention what, what they're doing, what they passed, and here's what the Justice and Policing Act will do, would do. It, it would establish national standards for all police departments, that's local, state, and federal, and those would ban chokeholds, no-knock warrants, and racial and religious profiling. We we'll require all officers to be trained and accredited, create a national police misconduct registry, and make it easier to prosecute officers for misconduct, among many other reforms. Bonamici and other members of Congress, Oregon's congressional delegation specifically, are also sponsoring a bill that would take Eugene's CAHOOTS program nationally, where social service workers would respond to calls involving mental health crises instead of police.